Hi, this is Mr. Barr, and in this video, I'm going to be dealing with the Pythagorean theorem and finding the length of a missing leg. So here's the triangle, and I have the hypotenuse in one of the legs. Let's see, so the hypotenuse is 17, and one of the legs is 8. So I'm going to square each of those numbers, and then I subtract them and take the square root. So this is going to be 17 squared minus 8 squared. So 17 squared, 289 minus 64, takes me to 225. Now that's way too big to be the length of that missing leg right there. But if I take the square root of it, so the square root of that takes me to a 15, and that's the missing leg, so 15. Cool. So this is going to be 5 squared minus 3 squared. So I've got 25 minus 9, that takes me to 16. Take the square root of that, takes me to 4. This is going to be 20, uh, 20 squared, which is 400, minus 16 squared, which is 16 squared, 256. I'm going to check that. 256. So I subtract them. Takes me to 144. Take the square root of that, takes me to a 12. This is going to be 13 squared minus 5 squared. So 169 minus 25, 13 squared minus 5 squared. 169. Take me to 144. I take the square root of that. takes me to 12. It's going to be 10 squared minus 6 squared. That's 100 minus 36. takes me to 64. Take the square root of that. Takes me to 8. It's going to be 95, my, 95 squared. 95 squared. 95 squared, which is 9,025 minus 76 squared. 5,776. Let's subtract those. Takes me to 3,249. Take the square root of that. Takes me to 57. Which seems reasonable, right? Because it's less than 95, which it should be less than 95, and it fits with the numbers. It's a, it's a reasonable answer. And it also didn't take any rounding. 41 squared minus 9 squared, so 41 squared. 1,681 minus 9 squared, which is 81. 1,600, take the square root of that. It's going to take me to a 40. 35 squared minus 28 squared, 35 squared minus 28 squared. Four forty one, take the square root of that. Feels like it should be about twenty one. Nice. Forty squared minus twenty four squared. So that's going to be 400 minus whatever 24 squared is. That is not 4. That should be 1,600. It should be 1,600. 1,600 minus 576 takes me to 1,024. Take the square root of that. Takes me to 32. 17 squared. Minus 8 squared. 17 squared is 289. I should have that memorized. Minus 64. Takes me to 225. Square root of 225 is 15. It's going to be 9 squared minus 5 squared. So 81 minus 25. Takes me to 56. And now I'm in the decimal world, aren't I? If I read the instructions, it says round it to the nearest tenth. So the square root of 56 is 7.48, takes me to 7.5. Now I'll do one more of these, and I should be pushing 80 by then. 8 squared is 64 minus 49. I don't know why I wrote 67. 64. 64 minus 49. Square root of 15 is 
3.87, which rounds to 3.9. Terrific. What's my smart score? 75. Took me about five minutes to get there. That's it. Thanks for watching. I think I'm going to make another video.